Hey everybody, I'm Nancy McDermott. We're in my kitchen. Welcome to Nancy's Table. I'm here to tell you how easy it is to solve the summer sweltering issues with cucumber soup. This is a soup recipe that does not even require you to turn on the stove. It happens in, mostly happens in the blender. And once you've made it with just, what, I think there's five, seven ingredients. Uh, once you've made it, you put it in the fridge and you've got it for that quick lunch with a tomato sandwich. You've got it to kick off your supper while something is you know, finishing up in the oven. It's simple, it's tangy, and it's really delicious. And vegetables, we need to eat more vegetables, right? I'm gonna show you how fun it is to do that. Okay, first, cucumbers. Now I've got two of the three or four kinds that you'll likely find. This is a big old, they used to be wax. They're not, they're, they're not coated with wax anymore, but this is just a big grocery store <laughs> cucumber. It works fine, but this, the peel is a little bit tough and there are big seeds inside. So let me show, I'll do something different with this one. My favorite kind are Kirby, K-I-R-B-Y uh, cucumbers. Sometimes they're called curvy cucumbers in the South because they sometimes they can have a little bit of a, of a J shape, but they're little and maybe a little bit bumpy on the surface. And they do have seeds inside, but the seeds are tiny and they're absolutely delicious. And on these, you can eat the peel completely. I like to peel them partially. Now, another kind that you see is a hothouse cucumber. It's super long. It's got a very smooth and lovely skin that you can absolutely eat and a soft green color, usually wrapped in plastic, a little bit more expensive, uh, English cucumber or hothouse cucumber. They're all great. But let me show you how to work with these particular two. Now I've got two kinds of peelers. This is a swivel peeler, it's metal. There are others that have uh, sort of a nicer setup. And then this is the handheld where you pull it across. So let me start with, let's see, where's my, my yes. First thing I do is, whether I'm using the small ones or the large ones, I'm gonna start with a great big one. I cut off both ends, cause I definitely don't want that. That's the stem end where it attached to the, uh, to the vine and this is the where the flower once was the flower end, the stem end they're gone next thing I want to do is peel it especially when I've got these great big ones and you can use uh, the swivel peeler and pull it towards you you can push away from you everybody's kind of got their way this one is not super sharp so I'm having to really bear down the um, this kind that you hold in your hand very smooth um, easy to work with and I'm trying since this is the big one with the thicker skin I'm trying to get most of the peel off but a little bit won't hurt so I'm coming down both sides and actually if I weren't trying to show you I'd, I'd you know it's fine to have it sitting on the cutting board and it's certainly easier to work with that way so let me do it sort of both ways for you that's good enough as far as getting the peeling off and now I'm going to use my knife I think I told you this with a in, in, in another when I'm working with corn on the cob Instead of trying to deal with the whole long one, I like to cut it in half. Then I'm cutting my half, that was in half crosswise, in half lengthwise, right down the middle, both parts. And then with these, I like to go right through the middle with the back with a spoon and scoop out. I'm gonna get my, uh, my pie plate. This is my scrap scraps container. So I just have a, a, a clear Pyrex pie plate right here handy. And I'm putting my spoon in and I'm scooping out all those seeds, getting rid of them. I've got that nice little canoe, a little cucumber canoe, pulling the seeds out of another of the four sections that I've got. See how fast that goes. It won't hurt you, but it's just a more pleasant texture. They don't add anything. So if I've got a big cucumber, I like to get those out. Now let's look at these smaller ones. Same thing, I'll cut one of these up. Uh, these are the Kirby. The Kirby, you might find these at the farmer's market. You might find them at uh, any supermarket, especially during the summertime. And again, with this one, I'm gonna just come down. Now, as I said, the peeling on this is thinner, so I don't feel like I need to get all of it off. I like the color. I like a little bit of fiber. So I'm going down those sides. Try my other, uh, my other peeler. As I said, I like both of them. I can really get sort of a good grip with uh, this kind and that's good enough. Now for this one, I do cut it and I'm just gonna cut it lengthwise, but I'm gonna leave the seeds in, they're fine. For this recipe, I want chunks. So I'm gonna take this small one that I cut up and cut it into four strips. So I've got four strips. When I cut, line those up and cut crosswise, I've got a nice, I've quickly got a double handful 
of cucumbers in about a one inch chunk. Perfect. I'm gonna put those with my, in my bowl of cucumbers here. Here's some I cut up before you came. Got those handy. Let's cut up these big boats. So I've got the U-shaped canoe boat. I'm gonna cut that in half and then each half in half. So again, I've got four strips and I'm gonna cut those crosswise into big chunks. Put those in my bowl of goodness. Cut one more of these uh, cucumber canoes, four long strips across, one, two, three, four, and that should be enough. For this recipe, I'm gonna put the recipe in the show notes. So uh, as soon as you watch this, you wanna make it and see the numbers, that'll be right down uh, in the show notes. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or, and if you made it, let me know how it went. Okay, so here are my chunks of cucumber. They're about half inch, half inch to one inch chunks, peeled, seeded if it needs to be done so. And I need, I need two pounds of cucumbers or three and a quarter cups. So I've got my four cup measure right here. I'm sure this is enough and I think it might even be a little bit too much. Yep, it's a little bit over. So I'm gonna scoop out maybe, I'm gonna be a little bit generous. I bet I've got three and a half cups and that's gonna be fine, but three and a quarter, you know, just within the ballpark that I give you is gonna be fine. Okay, so we're gonna use the blender to do the cooking, but first I wanna mix up the other ingredients. Now these, this other cucumber that I've peeled, I'll use in a salad. And this unpeeled one, I'll just keep keep them unpeeled until you're ready to use them. Uh, and then they'll, that way they'll keep the best in the fridge. Okay, so the other ingredients, so simple. A cup and a half of buttermilk right in my bowl. Because I want to mix everything up first. A cup of whole milk. And you could, if you wanted to use skim milk or another uh, level of milk, that's fine. I've got a teaspoon each of salt. I think there was a little leaf that went in there. Of sugar, if you don't wanna use sugar, you could use honey, you could leave it out. I like a little bit of sweetness in there, um, but use any sweetener that you like or just omit the sweetness. And about a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna mix those up real quickly, just so that everything comes together. And I've also got two tablespoons of chopped parsley, a tablespoon of chopped parsley and a tablespoon of fresh dill. Putting those in, they're so pretty. Stir that up. And now I'm gonna add the cucumbers, mix them up in the bowl. Well, why not do it in the blender? Well, the blender's not gonna hold the entire batch. So I wanna mix everything together in this bowl. And I'm not worried about making it dirty because I'm gonna put the soup back in there when I'm finished. Remember this is, you know, you're not working with something where it has to be cooked in order to be edible. Everything in this soup is uh, fresh, raw, ready to go. All right, so now I've got all the seasoned, two kinds of milk and the cucumbers and the herbs, salt, pepper, and sugar all together. And let's take about half of this. Let's see, I'm gonna use a big, a nice measuring cup. And I'll get about maybe a third of the cucumbers. And then I wanna get a lot of the liquid. I'm gonna do this in two batches. If you have a great big super blender, you may be able to do it in one. And if you have a food processor, the cap capacity is really big. If I did this in my food processor, I would be able to put everything in at one time and one blitz. But for this, for, for today, we're gonna to do it in two batches. So I've got a lot of the cucumbers and a lot of the liquid together. And I'm gonna put my blender up here where you can see it. Okay, cover your ears. It's gonna make a raucous noise, but that's good. Start low. Move it up a little bit. Keep on going. That's good. All right, that's half. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the already blended soup in one bowl. Oh, it's such a pretty green color. The peel that I left on the cucumbers and the fresh herbs give it a great color. Now I'm gonna see if I can do this in, nope not a good idea I think I might lose half of it so I'll keep scooping the cucumbers in the rest of the cucumbers in and now I think I can deliver the rest of the liquid and one last blast one two three here we go Low. 
little bit higher. All the way. A couple of pulses. And we're done. All right, so that is my cold cucumber soup. People, it's done. We're ready. So that is the two batches. The lovely color. Oh my gosh, it's, it's beautiful. Made a little bit of noise, but now we're done. I'm gonna check it for salt. Just make sure it's salted enough. Mm, it's lovely. And I want a little bit more of the dill to have ready to put on the top. So I've got a little bit of dill, nice little dill fronds, and a little bit of parsley so that I've got that fresh herb finish. Okay, now, that's it. It's not at its best until it's super cold, so I'm gonna suggest that you put the entire uh, soup into the fridge. You could eat it right now, but if you put it in the fridge and give it an hour or two, it's gonna come to its absolute best, and it'll keep two or three days nice and cold. When I put it in the fridge, I like to put it in a big pitcher, a big glass pitcher, so I can just stir it up quickly and pour it out into soup bowls, pour it out into containers if I'm gonna take it somewhere. If I wanted to take it on a picnic, I'd put it in a one of my super, this is a very well-sealed container so that, I mean, I wouldn't throw it down the stairs or anything, but when this is sealed up, it won't leak. This is a good one to put into it to put chilled soup in and put it down in the cooler and take it with you if you're going on a road trip or heading out on a picnic. Um, for the Again, for the fridge, I would absolutely put it right into a, I love to put things in glass. If you've got, if you've got glass containers, plastic containers, something that will keep it nicely in the fridge. Isn't that beautiful? So that's some that we'll put in the fridge and save for tomorrow. If you were wanting to make this, but let's say you're vegan, you're not gonna be using those dairy products. Use coconut milk. Use coconut milk and for the buttermilk, just to, so let's see, I believe it was a cup and a half of buttermilk. Use a cup and a half of uh, coconut milk and add a tablespoon of vinegar or lime juice. And that will give you the tanginess. That will It won't turn the coconut milk into buttermilk, but it'll give it that tanginess and a little bit of a thick texture. And then use a cup of soy milk, almond milk, some other kind, rice milk, some other kind of non-dairy uh, milk that you enjoy and you've got a completely vegan soup that would be absolutely delicious and you just make a couple of substitutions and you're done and of course it's vegetarian anyway so we, we all win okay that's my cold cucumber soup and I want to just have a little taste um, and get some I think this did I, I mentioned this is perfect with a tomato sandwich a pimento cheese sandwich um, if you've got something on the grill, you're picking up um, shrimp off your grill, wouldn't this be the perfect companion along with a green salad? Cold cucumber soup, no cooking, perfect for summer. You can make it. Look for the recipe in the show notes. But let me check. It's good. You may not want to tell anybody how easy it was. Perfect to share with friends. Take this by your neighbor's house and say, put it in the fridge. They will love you forever. Well, they already love you forever. Okay, I'm sprinkling just a little bit of dill on top. And I'm going to bring this by your house and uh, make you happy. Or you make it yourself. It's that easy. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Click that little button. And join me again soon at Nancy's Table. Bye now.